After a significant blow, an expert reveals the first indication that Meghan Markle is losing steam. A recent setback to Meghan Markle's career plans dealt a serious blow, and an expert has examined the possible effects that may have had on her. According to a specialist, Meghan Markle may have run out of steam after her and Prince Harry's lucrative $20 million deal with Spotify came to an end. In a joint statement last month, Archul Audio and the industry titan of online streaming declared they had mutually agreed to part ways. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Spotify was playing episodes of Meghan's podcast series Archetypes. However, Bill Simmons, head of podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify, attacked the couple and called them grifters shortly after the deal's expiration was announced. In light of the consequences, LA correspondent Ross King wonders whether Meghan Markle in particular was impacted by the termination of the Spotify agreement. He said this while participating in the hour-long documentary Meghan, Famous but Friendless, which examined the future of the Duchess and aired on Channel 5 in the UK on Saturday night. Is this the first indication that Meghan is losing steam? Many of us wondered after the Spotify deal collapsed, King said. It would not end if it was beneficial to both parties, he continued. Clearly, there have been some differences of opinion, and perhaps both sides have felt some degree of disappointment. The Sussexes and Spotify mutually agreed to part ways last month. According to a joint statement, Spotify and Archul Audio have agreed to part ways and are proud of the series we made together. The talent agency that is Megan's agent added in a separate statement. The team behind Archetypes remain proud of the podcast they produced at Spotify. For the audience of Archetypes, Megan is still creating more content on another platform. However, a Spotify executive named Bill Simmons launched an expletive-laced rant at Meghan Markle and Prince Harry just hours after the deal's expiration was announced. In a segment of his own program, he yelled, The Grifters. That podcast is the one we ought to have started with them. I've got to get wasted one night and tell Harry about the Zoom we had in an effort to aid him in coming up with a podcast idea. It ranks among my best stories. After the controversy, there have been claims that Meghan is distraught over the termination of her contract with Spotify, and humiliated by the executive's claim that she and Prince Harry were grifters. According to a source who spoke to Closer magazine, Meghan is upset about Spotify's rejection of her and the ensuing controversy. She has been completely thrown to the side. She can't believe she was attacked so viciously and publicly by one of their executives, and to be called grifters is the lowest point in human history, she said. It served as a harsh reality check that things really must change in order to maintain their popularity. Even after leaving their positions as senior working members of the British royal family in 2020, Meghan and Harry still have their lucrative contract with Netflix, which is rumored to be worth $100 million. The streaming behemoth recently announced that working with the Sussexes had its full support, dispelling rumors that the partnership might follow the same path as Spotify's. The relationship with Archul Productions is one we deeply value, a Netflix spokesperson told Entertainment Tonight. The most spectacular documentary debut on Netflix to date, Harry and Meghan, debuted at the beginning of 2017. We have an exciting journey ahead of us with them. We're working together on a lot of projects right now, including the eagerly awaited documentary series Heart of Invictus.